think we left off with batteries. That was four days ago. So we're going to go over everything I've done in those past four days. Most of which was literally just hollowing out the ground underneath us. And uh, flattening this area a little bit more. I'm slowly working out to the point where we can get this area nice and flat. One problem I have is that we actually have an oil well. Which we're going to have to place the fracking tower underground. I like the way fracking towers look, but <laughs> I have to I have to put it underground because right here the oil is is like inside this building, and I don't want to tear this place down. It looks nice. Kind of. uh, I mean, it doesn't really serve any purpose. It just makes it makes it makes biofuel, so we're environmentally friendly, you know, right? It, it's really good if your fuel is sustainable, you know. Oh, and then and then we've been working on on niobium. Almost two crates now. Um, a few crates of concrete now. <laughs> because these are like the easiest things I can make. Now, where is my cave? I, I swear I need to attach wires to this mouse or something because it, I just... Pretty sure it's dead. Pretty sure it's dead. <laughs> okay, so a trick that I remember doing with my mouse ages ago was that you could just... Um, you could literally just take a piece of, um, what's it called? Just take a piece of paper or tape, just shove it in there, and it will hold the battery up into the thing. And then it will get you fully dead. But, uh, we don't, we don't really, well, the battery fully dead. Fully discharged, yes, it will get the battery fully discharged. So, this is the, the work I've done under here. Um, as you can see, it's just, it's just a massive cave. I've been hunting these bedrock ore deposits and stuff, and, well, we found, uh, quite a few. This one is thorium. It's marked also, so if I ever need thorium, I can just mine it out a little bit more and drill it. This one is chlorocalcite. That one's not marked. This is the bedrock oil, which we will be drilling at some point, and as you can see, if we were to look at the top map, this is right underneath that building. And so, to actually fit it in, like, even if we did it this way, it would it would still be under the building, just even more under the building. There is a third one that I am searching for, but we won't get that one in, like, a couple weeks, so... But yes, this place is massive, and I had to mine through loads of lava. This one was a huge lava vein that went up to, like, here, obviously. And then another section of the cave, which is really... Whoa, there's oil. Oh, the, wait, we already got this oil. This is the other oil. Okay. But over here is the largest lava vein. This was an actual pool of lava. And it's it still is. You can see how deep it was. But it was like the whole thing. And I found two right rooms. They, they don't have good loot. They, they have really the worst loot imaginable. Like, look what I've gotten from it. Ballistic gauntlet and heart container. Wait, that's a ten times. Oh, that's actually nice. Well, that might be decent, but the, the ballistic gauntlet. Kind of, kind of, kind of... Meh. Anyway, so we're done explaining what's going on here. This is just, as you all understand, we're hunting for bedrock ores, and uh, bedrock oil in particular. But bedrock ores are useful, so... In fact, now that we have access to bedrock ores, we can do exactly what we're doing for niobium, but except with those. <laughs> So, so with the uh, thorium, I can have two crates of thorium now, just without much work at all. I mean, it does take a quite a bit of energy to get the thorium out of the ground, but um, with other stuff like copper, that will be incredibly easy because it's only a tier one, and I have three different copper veins. So yes, it's quite exceptional to go hunting for those uh, wonderful stuffs, but today we're going to be finishing up our batteries. So we discovered we need polonium, which is agonizing to make, because I cannot make polonium. As you can see, polonium can come from the polonium fragments, which are crystalline, or you can make the polonium powder inside of a cyclotron. Or getting polonium or plutonium ore and centrifuging it. Now usually by this point I have a rocket which gets us the stuff, but... I don't have that. So, I what I think we're going to do is we're going to go drilling for what we're looking for. Since uranium's become a commodity item, uh, it's actually beneficial for us to drill uranium. And I do have a vein of it somewhere on the map. 
Maybe. <laughs> I don't even know. I, I don't think I found the uranium. There it is. It's right under the cracking tower. Which means we're not going to be able to drill it from the surface, obviously. But we can go underground and do it. So. As far as Colton drilling is going, uh, we, I've, I've been failing at that. But don't worry, because once we get the battery, it's going to constantly be running. Alright, so here's the drill. Did I even connect this thing with you all? I don't think I connected this thing with you all. I think I did this on my own, the connections. Anyway. I don't care about what's in there, I care about this thing. Alright, we're making another drill. This is the third drill, fourth drill we made. Probably. I feel like this place looks more and more beautiful every time I see it. Every time I get one of these buildings done, this place just gets a... Like, from up there, that view is nice of the place. Because you can see, like, every single building is doing something. Well, looks like it's doing something. Half of these aren't actually working right now. Now, like I said, like I said, I, 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 would, I would have a rocket by this point, but... The rocket, all right, we don't have it. The rocket is the best choice for this, as it, it just gets you plutonium for three. You, you wait every 10 minutes, it gets you a shipment of pl plutonium crystals, which are nice. All right, so we're gonna need 16 steel ingots for this. 16 iron ingots, basic, basically, pretty sure you all know what to do by this point <laughs> with these. Anyway, let's go ahead and, uh, I don't know, so I think one of our future goals definitely should be to get the rocket. It, it has been a future goal. I just have not had the kerosene for it, actually. That's the only thing that's really stopping me from doing it. I, I can literally do it right now if I really wanted to. But we do not have the kerosene to do such a thing. Uh, it, it, in, in fact, takes like an entire small tank of kerosene. So uh, that's a lot. In fact, the amount of kerosene we have right now is actually... Mm, we're getting there, we're getting there. Uh, we're actually making the kerosene from wood and excess oil processing stuff, so... Also, I'm doing a batch of red gabba right now because I, I'm pretty sure we don't actually have any of that stuff processed. Well, we have like 20 of it right now, but that's, that's low. We need to have an entire stack of it later on. Maybe. It, it, it's useful, okay? Okay, there we go. So we're making the drill, large mining drill. We should be able to just run a cable that's just these guys through the basement, probably. Uh, unless we don't want to. Actually, we, we probably don't have to. We could probably use uh, use these <laughs> connectors. So it's, uh, it might be what we we're going to do. Now, it's it's a tier 4 because it's... Oh, no, if it's a tier 4, it's because I have a tier 3 drill. But, so, um, it's uranium. Might be time for us to invest in ferro uranium, but we'll see about that. All right, so we're gonna set this guy to AOE one, and we're gonna drill down twice just to make sure it's visible if we um, decide we're gonna do. And then we're gonna do an AOE two up that way, which should give us enough space to fit in this machine. And then we're gonna use cobblestone. We're just gonna pillar our way out, and then we can probably do another one. <laughs> I don't think we can do another one. This, anyway, this is right under the, the cranking tower, so it doesn't really make a difference anyway. Which, the good thing is that we don't have to use power from our, like, directly from our base. We can use it from the refinery instead, because it's closer. So, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, dig all the way, actually, no. We're going to go ahead and uh, just set up one of these guys, I guess. Does it, oh, it needs more space, doesn't it? And it's not a 5x5 five five exactly, it's a bit more than that. <laughs> Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and take this cable drum, and we're gonna go ahead and do some connections. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go, and we're gonna go ahead and run over to this... I don't know where we're connecting this at. Actually, yeah, I know where we're connecting this. We're connecting it to right here. Because I can just, instead of using the t tiny one, tiny one is sad, I can literally just use the, um, the big cable. You see, the thing about the big cable is that it's probably gonna go through the cracking tower. Do I care? Not at all. <laughs> Why would I care? Nice. And uh, that's 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 basically all we need. We just got connected up. We're gonna do the farther gate, the farther cable is the one that needs this guy, and then we're just gonna have him connect to the grid. Nice. And uh, put in the drill bit. Turn on vein mine. No, we don't need vein miner right now. Uh, now, let's go ahead and investigate this uranium bedrock ore in question. I don't remember what it needed. I think it's sulfuric acid, in which case, 
mining this is going to be a pain in the uh okay we can't we're not gonna say that um it's gonna be a pain yeah this needs sulfuric as it is going to be quite painful so um i do hear lava and i do not like that <laughs> wait that's probably not lava though that might just be a um what are they called well them stupid oil veins this guy's clear and it's right on top sulfuric acid okay <laughs> okay now so sulfuric acid is is kind of just annoying for us to transport and make and um i don't know maybe we'll transport it and make it on site i don't think i'm gonna do that though i think i'm just gonna i don't know i could easily just pipe it right over probably which would kind of work i guess all right time to make some aluminium pipes <laughs> i guess we're gonna need like three stacks of them this time Okay, so transporting sulfuric acid. That is our task today. We're gonna take off that guy because he's giving us speed boost from servos. And I don't think I mentioned that we have made servos. So, uh, now now you know. Bruh. The, the soil literally sunk in here too. What is this? <laughs> Why? Why does the soil have to sink in next to my basement level? <laughs> it's insane. Okay, so now we're piping sulfuric acid next to the river. Not just, not just mercury. No, no, no. That, that would not be safe enough for us. We need to pipe some sulfuric acid next to it as well. Bro, we're gonna need, we're gonna need way more than three stacks for this. I think we're going to need a fourth one. Wait, no, we got just enough. And we have exhaust pipes too, which really aren't that useful to us here. But as you can see, we're gonna have the pipe go down like so. It's gonna follow the stairs, and it's gonna look like you're on that one cargo ship from, um, Call of Duty, the original... Because I know that they're they're trying to make new versions, which are interesting. Anyway, like I'm not in the know. I don't know anything about that. Okay, it was that should be good. Sulfuric acid. Yes, correct. You get sulfuric acid now through the pipeline. Okay, there is our break. Wait, what? No, we don't have a break in the line. It's it's a complete pipeline. It's it's there's no breaks in this, at all. Okay, so we should now be getting the stuff it needs to be turned on, and then we can see what happens from there. Okay, here we go. Turning it on. Drill. Millions must drill. Okay, let's take a look down there. As you can see, it's going pretty slowly. This needs a tier 4 drill, which I think we'll tackle next episode because we're running out of time today. What I mean by tier 4 drill is that this bit is, this, this, this bit is too bad for this. It will not work anyway we'll see how far it's going down right now can i can i zoom that used to be a thing you could do in this i don't think it's going to be digging anything what was that what was that garbage oh it hit obsidian uh, it's currently doing something maybe i don't know i don't know i don't think it's drilling pull it out so, the next drill tier needs ferro-uranium, which is... Let's go ahead and take a look. Ferro-uranium. This guy. Now, this guy also needs a diamond drill... Uh, yeah, okay. Cadmium steel and ferro-uranium. And this is not difficult for us, because at this point of the game, we have this stuff we need to make those things. Let's go make it. So, we're going to need, like, what? 24 of them, which means we're going to need a 48 steel... Which is simply divide, divide a stack into this, then put that back together. That's 24, and then you take the other half and you do the exact same thing. No, this is this is not working anymore. Drop one of them in there. <laughs> that was not as quick as I thought it, I was gonna make it look. Like usually I can make it look like magic, but no, because we're trying to get 48 and from 63. That's just not gonna happen. We might accidentally make a lot of ferro uranium. Oi, where's my where's my uranium 230? Give me that. Okay, so, we're gonna make some ingots today, fellas. We're gonna need about three times eight of these. So, we're gonna need a lot of, th of this. <laughs> the the uh, uranium-238. I think this is gonna be a lot of ferro-uranium. I think 24, like, this is nine times the recipe. And we're doing it 24 times the, the nine times the recipe. So, we're getting, we're getting ingots out of this, right? Whatever that recipe yields for ferro-uranium, right? Hold on a second. Tell me about this. How do you make it? Alloying one nugget of that, one nugget of that gives you three nuggets. So we're getting three, we're getting three ingots of this for each one of these. So 
24 times 3 is our, our yield totally. And put that into ingots, not nuggets. It's insane. It's a lot of stuff. I don't think we're going to need this much. In fact, we could have just done 8 and uh, 8 of these guys and 16 of the steel ingots and it would have been much, much more effective, probably. Well, I'd like to thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time when we finish up this momentous task. Maybe I should say tremendous. That sounds better. When we finish up this tremendous task.